Everyone gather around, gather around, we're going to do the ceremony. Fragcom needs a cleansing. Scary stories. So, I am Stefan Fragrance, we are back, we are on a solemn, somber note. Fragcom is in trouble. Oh, we got trouble! Right here, in Fragcom, there is some stuff stirring up, just some drama in terms of kind of sensitivity that people have here on the platform or here on YouTube or just with fragrances in general. I'm going to talk about, about a little bit about that and that's what you're going to see in the video. So let's crack open a rock star, crack open whatever you'd like. Let's get into it. Leave a like, support your guy, join the small fry squad. Cheers. If you do ever see hashtag hashtag small fry squad that is just for the smaller creators or smaller people who feel like they need a little bit more their voice needs a little bit to be heard a little more we all have that struggle right even people who are very successful they want more you know they want but at least what we can do is accept people's perceptions and their expressions and we can respect that that's what's important. That's what the Small Fry Squad is all about. So whatever you call yourself, if either if you're in the Aug Aussie Frag Fam, if you're in the Stylish the stylish Iris Fam or Irish Fam, or if you're in the BFL, if you are a ball sprayer, if you're a fragrance fanatic, if you're Al from Street Sense, if you are in the Gen Sense community, if you're in the Cascade Sense, if you're in in Bangladesh, Fragcom Bangladesh. So, basically, what is this about? Oh, this is this is awesome. This is really good. It's got some guava up in here, right? Yeah. Mmm. Get to the freaking point, as Mr. Miami Cuddle says. Boring. A lot of times, a lot of these videos, fragrance-related videos, and this is not going to be towards any particular person. Chad is also going to be talking about this. He he inspired this as m much as Mr. Miami Cuddles with their just expressions, their kind of viewpoint on the, the Fragcom. So check out Chad's video tomorrow. I don't know what it'll be called it'll be up on Saturday, but also check out Mr. Miami Cuddles' top 10 boring fragrance reviewers. So basically, when you're watching a video and someone's explaining... This kind of reminds me of what happened with Joey too. He was, he was talking about it on his channel one time. There are so many communities, you know. There's the candle community. There's the energy drink community. There's the Bluetooth speaker community. <laughs> you know, <laughs> there are all these. And then there's the fragrance community. There are these things that people get into. And they share their opinion on it. Hopefully it's their opinion. Hopefully it's not just an advertisement, but they share their opinion and people who might not have, you know, might not want to step out and make a video themselves. They critique it or they comment on it or they support it or whatever they do. But a lot, sometimes it can be very difficult for the, the content. If someone's reading the comments, if the content creator is reading it, it can be, it can be difficult, I think. I kind of had some anxiety with that before, where I would say, I would upload a video and I would be like, ugh, you know, going into the YouTube studio, oh, I wonder what people are going to say. But it is very hard, you know, it's easy to say, oh, I don't care what anyone thinks. But, you know, if that was the case, then we'd just be walking around naked and just doing whatever the hell we wanted to, you know, some people, some of us do. But, <laughs> shout out to the streakers out there. But, for the most part, we do similar things. We try to get good good credit. We try to pay our bills. We try to have a healthy, live a healthy, keep a healthy body. We try to drive safe, hopefully. We try to smell good. We try not to overspray. Maybe we do it on purpose. But we all do things for each other um, and people we respect. So sometimes the trolling can kind of cross the line where you don't know who's troll. You know, if they're really, if it's a dig on you or if it's, just messing around. That's why I like to try to say that I'm kind of a troll. I am a troll a lot of the time. 
I try to make that kind of obvious. Sometimes it's not. And a lot of times I'm just throwing out jokes and sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. But we're doing the cleansing today. So what does that mean? That means that we need to wash. We're, the fragcom is a body. We got to wash this. Wash it of the impurities. All right. Let's get this dramatic music going. We got to wash it. We got to wash it clean. Okay. We can't let Fragcom take control of us. We can't let these fragrances control us. Scented water, as Dan says. Chad's gonna let y'all know. Let y'all know from the heart. Okay? I'm just doing a spoof right now. This is some serious stuff. People say, don't you talk about my scented water that way. Say, who are you? Who are you, the hood spot, to talk about Mr. 305 like that? He's a nobody. He's a celebrity. He doesn't. He doesn't have the integrity that these perfumers have. Respect the craft. I was about to drink the candle, but you know what I say? F the haters. F the people who want to change your opinion. Let them critique you, but, but remember who you respect. Who is it that makes that wakes you up in the morning? Who is who is it that gives you those those sweet, maybe sensual dreams at night? What kind of fragrance makes you stay up at night and makes you say, "Hmm, hmm"? Is it Zaharoff? Is it Happy Land? What is it? Is it a Creed? Is it a? Is it a? All of these houses, they don't mean jack shit, okay? Where's Jack now? Jack Skellington, he's going off to chase his, his girl, arms falling off. It's Halloween time, baby. We've got to get in the spirit. We've got to unite, be a community. Are we truly a family? We need to cleanse ourselves. Clean, rinse, wash, repeat, scrub, wash, repeat. You know, if you like scented candles from Better Homes, from Walmart, go for it, baby. You want to put a little 305 on the ball sack? Go for it, baby. Caffeine's bad for you? Go for it, baby. Smell how you want to smell, baby. <laughs> you know, enough of that. You know, a lot of times, people make you feel like they, their opinion matters, or you should take their opinion with a lot of, a lot of um, value. Sometimes you got to remember who you're deal dealing with. A lot of, some people just want attention. Some people just need a hug. That's why they're calling out, you know, or they're, they're reaching out to you or they're saying, they're telling you certain things, but all in all, we need to cleanse this stuff. We gotta be, we've gotta bring some integrity into fra fragrance, fragrant calm. Okay, we not not to say that you have to, but I would like that. Wouldn't it be awesome for just the community in itself? Wouldn't it be awesome to to feel like we are part of something beautiful? You know, we bring the spirit back to frag calm. We've washed ourselves. We've we have scrubbed down Robes 08's back. Joy Amin was giving me a, a hand rub. Tom Elise was over there. You know, I I felt that rush of energy from Tiff Benson. You know what happened? The German man himself, Jeremy Fragrance, gave me a hug. Carlos told Carlos winked at me, gave me a little wink. Stephen from Red Adolescence. He came up to me, he said, Great job, bro. Chris from Casual Fragrances gave me a thumbs up. He said, have a nice day. Mr. Miami Cuddles, you know, he told me, he told me exactly what he felt. And you know what? If the song cuts off, that's okay. Anyways, what I'm trying to say is, 
Where is the love? No. What I'm trying to say is, you know, everyone, I appreciate everyone who brings life to the fragrance community. And, and, mm, yeah, everyone's, and, and I love, I'm learning more and more. You respect the people who deserve respect and respect yourself and understand what your power is, what you bring to it. If what you bring to life, a lot of people don't feel good in their life when what they bring is something that doesn't feel good when they're selling their soul to a devil. But you don't have to do that. You stay constant, have some fun reviews, hang out with the people you love and talk about the things you like to do, the things you like to smell. And that's about it. Shout out to everyone out there, everyone in the Small Fry Squad, everyone who feels small, but on the inside, they're big. Big heart, big soul. Till next time, Stephen Fragrance out. Toodles.